which is about you students. Uh, by the way, it's Pandri, uh, Pandri, right? Pandri, up Pans, right? P Pans stands for, stands for Pharmaceutical Association of Nigerian Students, correct? Right? Uh, you guys have chosen a great profession. I'm not sure who talked you into it or, you know, how you chose the pharmacy as a profession. Uh, but I'm, I want to assure you guys, you've chosen a great profession. Um, if you're serious with it, you're going to not only help yourselves and your families, but you'll be helping the whole nation. And uh, Nigeria needs a whole lot of help right now. I know so many of you can't wait to leave Nigeria, you know, both students and teachers alike. So part of what I'm here to tell you is uh, to try to guide you to leave the proper way if you have to. The proper way meaning you have your return ticket so that any time you need to come back to Nigeria to see parents or to come and help out, to come and help build your nation, you will not have any kind of excuse not to be able to come back home. Because I see too many situations where people go and they never return to the shores of this country for one reason or the other. So you must go the right way. When I say the right way, you go with an F1 visa. If you go for visiting, they give you three or six months. Don't stay one or two days extra because you will not go back to the US again. They will not allow you in. Now, if you go with F1 visa, it's for students. You make sure your fees are paid because if you're out of status, then you have to work to get a living, uh, to make a living. Uh, so you'll be okay in the US if you're a pharmacy student or medical student or healthcare practitioner, especially post-COVID. Um, but it's no fun to be out of status in the US. So um, please be careful. You know, you only see stories of people like me that force, that say their prayers and force their way back into this Nigeria. Um, and maybe some hush puppies, a few people. But, you know, the, there are so many sad stories. People spending 40, 41, 42 years in America and never making it back home. I don't want any of you to be one of those people. You know, I'm not putting anybody down. It's just you face a whole different reality when, when once you get to that other side. Things you don't plan for before leaving Nigeria. So, so the final, the third part I'm supposed to speak about is uh, on pharmaceutical care. You know, where I actually, uh, it's something I enjoy very, very much. You know, pharmaceutical care to me is uh, just convincing patients when they come to your pharmacy, you know, that they don't even have to think about going to another pharmacy. You know, that's how I practice my pharmacy. You know, most times people come to my pharmacies and they often forget their medications, you know, you know heart medications, everything. They never forget Viagra though. Um, yeah, that's supposed to be a joke. I inject humor in, into this thing sometimes. Um, but so now I'm looking at the practice here in Nigeria and um, some things have changed for the better in terms of laws, but I guess because of so much of the brain drain, we don't have enough pharmacies and most of you are going to leave. So we have patent stores, we have, you know, uh, subpar pharmacies where most people, you know, pharmacies are just concerned about making money. So you ask them, Cipro, do you have it? You know, they give you the cheapest they want and you buy their stuff and keep moving on. The way pharmacy ought to be practiced, I should say at this point that all three subjects, uh, all three areas, I uh, interconnected so you know, laws are connected to uh, computers and technology that type of thing and how it affects pharmacy practice and uh, you know pharmaceutical care so we'll bounce back and forth you know amongst all these three areas 
Now, it, it, it's difficult to see, to, to even try to compare how we practice pharmacy in the U.S. to what has been done here in Nigeria. But we're not so far off. You know, I visit pharmacies in Abuja, Lagos, Abeokuta mostly, and I've monitored changes over the past 20 years. Um, I don't want to waste too much time talking about myself, uh, education and um, my career. It's been a wonderful one. Uh, it's a lot of hard work. When I look back sometimes, I wonder, you know, how did I manage to, you know, uh, get quite a few things done. But I'm very, very grateful to God. Hopefully, I'm just beginning, you know, because uh, my 40th year in the U.S. is my year of return, you know, back to Nigeria, you know, to come and serve. And uh, this, you guys have no idea that it's it's very, very special to be a Nigerian. You know, you guys.